she's been doing it eight years. She said she was dead. Mm -hmm. Put a tomato on it. Come on, let's go. All right. So today with cooking with Linda, we are going to be using uh, the red lob. You want to undo that so they can see it. And we're going to. It does we do have ingredients? So this is the uh, red lobster cheddar bay uh, mix. So. It's the famous rolls they use, or the biscuits, or biscuits at- Start uh, over. No, I'm not starting, I don't start over. At, at Red Lobster, they, they understand, I'm human. So these are biscuits that they, it's Red Lobster, fresh uh, fish, live lobster, if you go to Red Lobster, but they also have what's known as biscuits, their Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix. Now, here's the actual ingredient. So we do want um, a, about a cup of water, about three fourths of a cup of water. So we have that for the cup of water. Then we also want a half shredded cheese, which we do have mild cheddar. They want it shredded, so we got it shredded. And there's the butter. So the next ingredient is gonna be the pouch, which is inside the box. Um, and then of course the butter, which is about a, about, a, about a cup of butter. Well, I'm sorry, a quarter of a cup. So about one fourth cup of butter. Now you could use a cup of butter, but I would, I would just use about a quarter cup. So about, oh, just a, the bottom of that right there. So not a full cup of butter. And then there's also a garlic herb blend, which is also inside here. And I'll show, show you what they look like. She went ahead and laced the whole entire pan tray. What do you call this? The biscuit tray with butter. So she put the butter inside there and that's the butter that she used. We'll show you the, the, in, the innards of the Red Lobster biscuit. Thing. Here. here we go and that's what it looks like right there and this is the garlic herb correct for garlic. afterwards for afterwards and also the cheddar is important too so and the oven's at 425 okay so oven at 425 just cutting the the uh biscuits over for the what's it called I'm cutting the open the one pouch of Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix. Okay. Putting it into a clean bowl. When we'll add water pretty soon. Then we will use three-fourths cup of cold water. This is a one cup, so that I'm not going to fill it all the way to the top. That looks like three-fourths, so right? About three-fourths, almost to the top. That's important, though. You don't want to go too much so or too stir little. Stir together water, cheese, and biscuit mix. I use a wooden. I always try to use wood when I can. Is that not right? Okay. Yeah. Right. Sorry, I heard, I heard the moan. So yeah, that's okay. Over this way. Or the cry out. I, I stir too quickly. There's other stuff that goes in it. All right, so we have the one pouch of biscuit mix, the three-fourths cup of cold water. Now we need to add my favorite thing in the world, 
Oh, jeez. How much? Half a cup of shredded cheese. So a half a cup, about a half a cup of that. So, so about halfway of how this. How many ounces is half a cup? Well, I do this on the back side. Four, four ounces cups is to be one half quart. a bag. Okay. So how much? Half a cup, four ounces. Half a, half a cup is four ounces. So you want to do, oh, you're doing a full cup. Eight, you're doing eight ounces? Well, look at it though. It needs to be half the bag. Okay. How much is the bag? Eight ounces. Oh, the bag is eight ounces. Hmm. And how much is it required? Four ounces. Half the bag. That's how I see it. So that's like a cup of cheddar, basically. A cup of, of shredded cheddar. Oops. So, oh. so basically like oh, a, cup, a cup of <laughs> cheddar, basically. All right. Stir together, but do not over mix. I have to use my hands. What do you think? No. You can. I do have a plastic glove, or you can just wash them. Um, or you can just put your hands in it. That's fine, too. It doesn't bother me. It's going to go in the oven anyway. There might be a better mix thing if you just back up just one second. I think I have a better one right down here. Yep, I have this one, which is for cake batter and stuff, so it might be good. Yeah, I was thinking about washing it. Okay. No, I'm good with this. Okay, I'm stick with the wooden one. I was gonna try this eight years ago, but I moved moved and I left the box with my grandma. So I've mm. never had this before. Red lobster. Cheddar bay biscuits. I did work at Red Lobster, but I've never made it like didn't your mom call it Red Slopster? Red Slopster. Hey, you pay attention sometimes. So you're just mixing it just normal. It's not like you don't have no. to use a beater or anything like that. No. Add a little more cheese. Now these are also good. Once they come out of the oven, they're very good with butter. So you can actually add more butter on it. Yeah, let's see. All right, then we want to scoop the dough immediately, immediately into eight to 10 portions. Okay, this has 12 portions. Let's try to do eight. So that's about two inches apart. They already separate it. If you don't have one of these types of uh, pans, you can use a flat pan uh, as long as you separate it up to about two inches. It says so right here. Do not eat raw dough. That way it doesn't mix up. I don't know. It looks good to me. What do you think? Yeah, it does look good. One time we were making cookies and I ate the cookie dough and I was my stomach hurt for a week. Mm. See, so yeah, I don't eat the dough. At least it's cooked. All right. It's going to be easier. She's just kind of molding it in her hands. Yeah. Says don't over mix. Yeah. Does that look good? Looks good to me. Number one. I would probably just make it more kind of tennis ball-y. You know, where it's more just kind of like a, you know, like a ball. Two. Yeah, I would go like that. Three. It's gonna rise when it cooks, anyways. So you already preheated the oven? Yes. Okay. Three, four. Yeah, it looks up about eight. Five. Oops. Well, it just said scoop. It didn't say mold. Okay. okay, so we'll fill all those and then we'll stick it so in. So while doing this, usually you're only going to make about eight biscuits with this particular box right here. So it serves ten, but you're only going to make about eight biscuits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Okay? Are you about ready to put it in? Okay. All right, well then I'll go ahead and do it. All right, so we are going to put it into the oven. The oven is preheated. And I'm going to get my gloves right here. What's going on? It's not done preheating. Oh, it's not? No. Okay, so we'll what we did is we're waiting on the actual 
oven to preheat. It'll, it'll, it'll make a little alarm sound. And then we'll add the biscuits into the oven. The reason why you want to do that is because you, you want the temperature in the oven to be at the right, you know, uh, level. You know, so you want everything to be kind of at the right temperature before you put it in there, or it can mess up the cooking. So we're we're actually waiting for the preheat to be done. A lot of times when I make a pizza, I just throw it in there. Don't do it with these. These are very sensitive biscuits. So wait, basically, until it's good to go. They come out okay. It's going to be 14 to 16 minutes in the oven. And so when we do put it in there, it'll be about 14 to 16 minutes total. So pretty quick. You can probably do this for a luncheon if you really wanted to make some good biscuits for friends coming over. Uh, you'd only it's going to take you about 16 minutes. The actual process of, of of doing all this so far only took about seven minutes. So you had 16 and seven. Well, if you just let's say someone's a little bit slower, to do 10 minutes. So total about 26, maybe 25 minutes of, of cooking time because you got to prepare it. So say a total of about 25 minutes of the whole entire thing. That's what I'm guessing, but we'll find out. Beep. All right, it's ready. So um, the oven beeped, showing that it's preheated. Do you want to do top or, or middle? Yes, middle. Go for the middle. All right, so we are going to go for the middle. And what I always suggest is make sure the oven goes all the way down here because you'll burn your form if you don't. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close this right here. And we're going to wait 16 minutes. 14 to 16. All right, so we're gonna do 14 and check on it at 14 minutes. It's got about two more minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, four tablespoons. Right, so you wanna use four tablespoons oh, for the seasoning. exactly what we have. Or this mix right here. What is this called, the garlic? You mix that with the butter? Correct. Okay. So, qu quarter, of a, quarter of a cup of butter uh -huh. is four tablespoons. Got it. Exactly right what we here. have left. I see. Pretty amazing. And then you melt it in the microwave. It's as if it was meant to be. So what you do with the butter is you're mixing that. We have to melt this in the microwave. Oh, for how long? How long does it take to melt? Well, melt the butter. Okay. Probably 30 seconds. That is a big bowl. Grab a, um, a plate. And then you add the seasoning. Mm. No, we don't have one, do we? If this one, that probably... Okay, I'm gonna just All right, so we're melting the butter. Yeah, we'll do one minute. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take a look after 14 minutes. Hello everyone, I am the Italian chef here. Eat my spaghetti and meatballs. Sounded more like Scandinavian. All right, move all the way this down this way. And looking pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. You think it needs more? I think it's good. I want yours now. Okay. I'm melting the butter. Ooh, that looks melted. Yay! Right, now I'm gonna open up the garlic herb blend. Yay. That's it. <laughs> Do you whisk it? Seriously? <laughs> Sorry. So 
So whisk it. Butter and seasoning. And you can just use a fork. Right. You want to add a little bit more seasoning? Well, it, it only comes with that one. Yeah. We put the biscuits in there for about another hour. I mean, a minute. Sorry, a minute. <laughs> another minute. So, what we're eating with the biscuits is great value chili with beans. Cool. Made with beef. Where did it go? It went inside the container. Oh, okay. So, we're going to put it in the microwave for about three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. So, you're going to brush it on there, and I do have this brush right here. I'm going to or brush it on the biscuit. Or you can spoon it on there. Or you can spoon it. What would you rather do? Spoon it. Okay. Well, then we'll use a spoon. All right. What about a tablespoon? Like That's fine. this right here. That sounds good. So we just spoon it onto the biscuits. Cool. So today the chili is two servings, but we're having one serving each. So that's 250 calories and nine grams of fat. Then we're going to eat one biscuit, which is 150 calories and seven grams of fat. So that will make it 400 calories for me, 400 calories for you, and then 16 grams of fat. And you'll need like 30 grams of fat per the day. Correct. Cool. So the next step is to basically brush or you can scoop some of the seasoning and just kind of pat it on there. You got one of them right there. All right, here's one for you. Get on this thing. That one's gonna be a little crusty. Probably, maybe put it in there too long or? Not enough water. Not enough water. No, we'll find out. Are they all gonna be the way? I don't know. Well, I should ask the biscuit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the end. We'll put this on after we scoop it out so it doesn't. Still works, just doesn't look as nice. <laughs> Not as red lobster. True. Alright, here comes some chili. So it's chili and biscuits. Chili and biscuits. You can just put the chili on top of it. Correct. Now add a little cheese on top of the chili. And you're doing like three or four biscuits or something? No, we're just having one each. Oh, okay. So we're just trying it out. Well, do you want two? Well, let's try two. <laughs> I know, that, that's pretty bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> See, I think, these, I think these are going to be the better one. Mm -hmm. that, that side one probably didn't have enough grease. This one looks a little bit better. Okay. All right, so we'll do two each. So supposedly that's 300 calories for the biscuits and then the chili. That's the seasoning, which is the garlic. Chili with cheese. I like to make homemade chili, but we had to do a can today. We'll eat our veggies later. All right, looking pretty good. All right. There's my one. Sorry, mine looks a little bit better. So Linda's looks better, but I don't really care what mine looks like. We're right, back to the chili. As long as it tastes good. Right. It's the same place anyways. All right. Okay, cool. All right. All right. And we're going to pray over our biscuits. Heavenly Father, thank you for keeping us together and these red lobster biscuits and just watching over us. And thank you so much for everything you've given us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And thanks for watching. I uh, do now put my, uh, my PayPal. So my PayPal QR is on there. So if you'd like to 
fund our show and our cooking show and things like that. Because we got these wonderful biscuits right here. We're showing you red lobster biscuits. Just uh, put your phone up to the screen and it'll capture the QR and you can actually give to PayPal, which will go right to our show. All right? Y'all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Welcome to the Please Subscribe Show. I'm Cole. I'm Linda. All right, so we are gonna try it. And here's some of the biscuit right here. Are you ready? Mm. Yeah, the chili, the chili really adds a lot to it right there. That's that's really good. It's very, very good. It's very, it's very good. Yeah, it's very good. You know how mm. some people have biscuits and gravy? This is Chilean biscuits. <clears throat> Wouldn't that be like a Texas milk? I don't think I've ever had chili and biscuits, have you? I don't know. Not with the red lobster, but it, it actually works really well. It's very good.